what's going on? This is your boy Louis. Glad to be here as always. You know, I'm bringing you today 10 of the most useful or wrong commands you need to use to be able to speed up your computer and to be able to do other things on your Windows machine, okay? So that's coming up right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right straight into the action. To go ahead and display the run window, go ahead and press the Windows plus R button both together and you're gonna get that window right there okay so the first command we're gonna learn today it's the app cpl what that's gonna do right there is that's gonna go ahead and take you straight into the programs that way you can go ahead and uninstall any software that way you don't have to click start control panel uninstall programs you know that's the long path you go ahead and press Windows plus R it's gonna go ahead and open up that window and all you do is go ahead and type that in right there a p p w i c dot c p l and then you press enter there you go bam those are all of your programs right there all you do is select any one of them uninstall you're good to go so that's the first command right there that's what that's gonna do okay it's gonna go ahead and display your software that way you can go ahead and uninstall it the second command right now it's going to be the clean MGR. What that's going to do, it's going to take you straight into your hard drive. That way you can go ahead and clean up for the cleanup utility, okay? For the disk cleanup for Windows, for your main hard drive. And it's going to go ahead and take you straight in there. You're going to be able to go ahead and uh, select the temporary files, recycle bin, downloads. And all you do is click OK, and then it's going to go ahead and clean that up. So. It's recommended for you to do that probably at least once a day. So that's the second command, clean MGR. Okay, now the third command, it's gonna be that one right there, Reesman. Reesman, what that's gonna do, it's gonna, it's gonna go ahead and display everything that's being utilized in your machine from network, from your RAM, your disk, everything. So you go ahead and type that in, Reesman. You go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see right here, that's going to be the uh, CPU usage, the disk, network, yeah, and you can go ahead and expand it to go ahead and make it look better. Right here, CPU, disk, network, memory, and you can go ahead and check that right there as well. Okay, You can see all the resources right there. So that's a very, very good command to always use. Okay, so that's it right there. Fourth command is going to be MRT. Every month Windows releases a newer version of uh, Microsoft Windows Malicious 2. So this command is going to go ahead and display the Windows Malicious Software 2 remover. So that's something not a lot of people do. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The only thing you type is MRT. It doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase. So just type that in as it is MRT. You go ahead and press enter. And there you go. You see that? Microsoft malicious removal tool and the only thing you will have to do is click next and right here it gives you a couple of uh, options there to go ahead and scan quick scan full scan customized scan if you go ahead and have like a hard drive or like a USB thumb drive right there you can go ahead and scan that as well okay so it gives you three types of scans and this will be this is not an antivirus okay I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and clarify that out there this is not an antivirus this is sort of like uh, like malware bytes, sort of. It pretty much just detects any uh, malicious software and it'll go ahead and delete it from your machine right there. So there we go. So that's it. Now, another great command is going to be this one. It's going to be the MS config. What well, that's going to go ahead and display, it's going to be the general options. You know, your, your startup, you can go ahead and modify that. Your boot options and your services, everything that's currently running, your startup right there, that, that'll go ahead and make a big difference if you have a lot of programs that are enabled when your system, operating system for start. And you can go ahead and check your performance right there. The process is currently going. So that's it right there. That's that one, MS Config. Next command we have it's to be able to see everything in your computer management. So let's say if you want to do like a partition for your storage, 
that'll be the the command right there if you want to go ahead and schedule a task event viewer that'll be that one right there the command okay so I'll leave that one I'll, I'm gonna leave all the commands on the description okay that way you can be able to see all of them right there moving on we still go ahead and uh, use we do have a task manager command uh, run command so you just go ahead and type that in task MGR press enter and you'll be able to see all of that process performance app history startup users details and service so that's the command for that and then you can go ahead and modify a lot of these things right there on the uh, according to your performance that you want so that's the command right there okay now let's go ahead and run this one right here which is the uh, percent temp percent all of these right here are just temporary files that you really don't need so you can just go ahead and select that you go ahead and press Control a and then you go ahead and delete all of that because those are just temporary files that are just taking up space and it's probably not going to be able to erase all of them so just go ahead and uh, just leave everything as it is so there you go you, I just deleted all of my temporary files with that command another good one we have will be this one right here firewall.cpl straight into the uh, settings there of your of your firewall you can go ahead and turn it off and on right away boom otherwise you will have to click start and then go to settings and then security and then blah 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 so this will go ahead and take you straight into the settings of your firewall so that's another good one I find alright now this is the 10th and the last command I'm gonna go ahead and show you now this is one of the cool ones I think this is a very very useful one I think so to be able to go ahead and shut down your computer let's say in an hour uh, the only thing you have to do is type in shut down dash s space dash t space and you have to put the exact amount of seconds so for example in an hour you have uh, 3600 seconds so let's say if you want to go ahead and shut down in an hour you would have to put 3600 seconds so that's the only thing you would have to do and then press ok see right there it gives you the message you're about to be signed out your windows will shut down in 10 minutes and 60 minutes shut down will start on Sunday September okay okay so after you've entered the number of exact seconds you want to go ahead and schedule the automatic shutdown now to go ahead and cancel that it's very very simple all you do is type in shutdown minus a you press enter as you can see log off is canceled okay so that's it for me right there that's 10 useful commands a lot of them will definitely help you speed up your machine and you can also go ahead and clean up your temporary files and do some other tweaks to your system okay so that's my time right there please go ahead and like and subscribe and that'll do it for this tutorial